Johnny here for Johnny's Car Care and Advice. So today what I want to cover is the 2021 Ford Bronco in that four-cylinder engine. So the question that I'm really asking is, is it any good and what's wrong with it? So let's jump right in. Uh, let's answer the question of whether the 2.3 liter inline six four cylinder engine that the Bronco is going to have and currently shares with many other models. Uh, if it's any good, well, it's beginning with uh, fuel consumption. First of all, the vehicle should be getting 20 miles per gallon in the city and 24 miles per gallon in uh, on the highway. Now, when we look at the question of whether a vehicle is good uh, or an engine is good or not, I don't think we can just look at fuel consumption because uh, that fuel consumption is, is good. It's in line with a uh, Jeep Wrangler six cylinder engine. So there's, there's no uh, miracle numbers that are being produced. However, being that it's a four cylinder inline turboed engine, that's a twin scroll turbo, uh, offers the opportunity to the vehicle to both be fuel efficient or quite powerful at low RPM. So I think power versus fuel economy is really one of the criteria we need to look at in deciding whether the 2.3 liter engine is a, a good fit for the Bronco. Uh, now we did see in a past slide that uh, this engine is shared with a lot of vehicles, even the Ford Explorer. It seems to do a good job in the Ford Explorer, but you know, is it going to be a good off-road engine? Well, you know, looking at the power specs, being that uh, it is uh, an engine that has actually quite a bit of torque at low-end RPM. So early on in the power band, early on in the engine revolutions, uh, the, the engine actually gets almost 100% of its torque to the wheels because at 3,000 RPM, only 3,000 RPM now, uh, revolutions per minute on the engine, that's quite low, 3,000 RPM. Uh, for a vehicle that goes up to around 6,000 RPM, you get 100% of the torque. So you're getting 310 pound-feet of torque at 3,000 RPM. Uh, now, if we compare that to a Wrangler, 3.6 liter, you know, to help figure out, you know, whether this 2.3 is... Uh, a good engine option. Let's compare it to a benchmark Jeep Wrangler's 3.6 liter engine. That's a six cylinder, a V6. So that motor is actually getting 260 pound feet of torque at 4,000 RPM. So, you know, being that the Jeep Wrangler is a known, uh, a very good off road vehicle, it's a known fact, uh, and that at a thousand higher RPM, it's making 260 pound feet of torque, so less torque compared to Ford's 2.3 liter 310 pound feet of torque. Uh, I think that, you know, in regards to power, uh, we can put, you know, a check on the list and say that in regards to power, it does pass the test. And some would be quick to point out though that the Wrangler six cylinder does make an extra 15 horsepower, but it's making that 15 extra horsepower in an RPM range that most people won't drive very often at, and that's 6,400 RPM. So the Wrangler is making 285 horsepower at very high RPM. So, you know, in basic terms, that means you really have to be beating on your motor uh, to get your full use, your full 285 horsepower, you need to be at the very high end of what the motor can offer you. Whereas the Ford Ranger, yes, it's getting 15 less horsepower, 270 horsepower. So likely we'll get, you know, that's what we're supposed to get out of the Bronco, but it's doing it at 5,500 RPM. So almost a thousand revolutions per minute less. So, you know, power that you're gonna use more often. So I think the fact that we're getting, you know, a quite a bit more torque out of this inline four-cylinder engine and 
you know, we're getting not just 50 extra pound feet of torque compared to uh, sort of the current uh, king of off-road. Uh, we're getting about 50 extra pound feet of torque. It's also getting, you know, it's not at the cost of fuel economy. And that's why I'd say that the 2.3 liter inline six engine passes, uh, you know, gets good marks for power. And it's also getting very good marks for fuel economy because you're getting more power and not at the cost of losing all sorts of fuel economy. Because we have to remember these vehicles, you know, 98% of the time, uh, they're, you know, probably going to be used for most of us to get us to work and get us home. So they need to be practical as well. So just to conclude, uh, if we look at the question of, you know, will this be good off-road, I'd say yes, because of low-end power, but what transmission would I recommend? Well, if you can drive manual, I'd suggest really considering the manual, one, because there's no uh, extra cost to taking the manual transmission versus the 10 speed, so you're not paying anything extra for it, and what's more is the first gear that crawl gear is a fantastic ratio on the manual for off-roading and combined with the low end torque of the inline 2.3 liter engine i think that you know it should do a pretty decent job off-road but what if you need or want more power what are your options well, I'll tell you what those options are. Uh, now, thankfully, a car and driver covered this. Uh, for just under $1,000, you can get an upgrade and it's uh, approved by Ford. It's from Ford Performance. And that upgrade adds 45 horsepower at 4,500 RPM and 60 pound feet of torque at 2500 rpm and you know remember you want low rpm when off-roading uh and you know even when you're not off-roading heck uh low end torque makes for a fun vehicle to zip around with uh it helps make a vehicle feel peppy and fun to drive However, there is another great option and you know, it's really rare that a manufacturer does this and that's that Ford is offering, you know, straight from the factory, uh, the option of the 2.7 liter twin turbo V6 engine. Uh, now, the reason I said that normally manufacturers don't do this is because this power, this engine is very powerful. So this engine actually comes with 310 horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque. And if the torque curve is anything like an F-150, it should have 400 pound feet of torque at only 2,750 RPM, making this obviously the better engine option for those that want to off-road or if you just want a lot of power but you know normally a manufacturer would reserve an engine this powerful for really their high-end uh, models which cost a fortune and what's really nice is with Ford on the Bronco we can have this even on the base model uh, and it's available on every model all the way up to the wild track. Now what kind of acceleration can we expect from the 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine, that inline four cylinder. Well, I'd ex expect acceleration to actually be spot on with the Ranger because the Ranger weighs the same as the Bronco is supposed to weigh. So we should expect six seconds. And as we saw in the previous slide, if you do spend just under $1,000 and have that Ford Performance upgrade, uh, it should shave off 0.4 of a second. So we'd be down to 5.6. And you know, it's funny in a previous video when I was speculating what kind of acceleration we can expect from the 2.7 liter twin turbo six cylinder engine, uh, I talked about 5.5 seconds. Now I'd say if that upgrade adds the type of power that we talked about it adding, uh, and then we compared the extra power that the six cylinder uh, turboed engine adds, I'd say that, you know, my, my speculation, my, my, my guesstimate, my educated guesstimate of 5.5, uh, 5 .5, I'd say we might even get 5.4 or 5.5. Now, of course, getting bigger uh, mud tires, off-road tires will affect not just acceleration but fuel economy as well so of course you know this would all be in uh, in regards to someone who takes a bronco with the standard tires
And speaking of standard tires or not, uh, shortly I will be producing, making a little video on how to pick your off-road Bronco and looking at the various specs to help figure out if the Bronco is going to be a good or a great off-road vehicle and how to spec, how to equip your Bronco so that it is a great off-road vehicle. And, you know, part of that video, of course, will be the obvious that if you do the opposite of that build well then you'll get a, a bronco that's better for you know town driving but you know we'll cover which options to take for your off-road bronco in an upcoming video you know for now what i do want to quickly look at is you know this little chart here that does show a standard six cylinder versus the four cylinder engine and what you can tell from this chart is that a turboed four cylinder, you know, a standard four cylinder would not cut it, but a turboed four cylinder, Ford's 2.3 liter, does have low end torque compared to a six, so it is a good option. And if not, there's that 2.7 liter. Now, this raises another question why can't I have? A Bronco with the engine that I have in my F-150. So right there, that's my F-150. It's a 3.5 liter twin turbo. I absolutely love the engine. And you know, why is it not offered on the Bronco? Will it be offered? Well, I'm also going to be covering that in an upcoming video because I really do suspect that the 3.5 liter EcoBoost will be an option on a, a Bronco coming later down the road. But you know, why no five liter? <laughs> uh, I have a five liter Mustang. That's my Mustang right there. And that's another motor that I love. It's taught, tried, tested, and true. And I love it so much, it's not even my first five liter Mustang. So why isn't the Bronco coming with a V8? And will it ever come with a V8 with Ford's famous five liter? Well, I'm gonna cover that in an upcoming video, uh, go over whether, you know, I think we're gonna get a, a V8 in the Bronco and, you know, what the likelihood is and why or why not we may or may not get that engine. So of course, to answer that, we will be looking at uh, dyno results and of course, all the dyno results that were in this video. Uh, now that's power measured at the wheels, not at the crank. So it's not the same power that uh, manufacturers record. It's not the same, you know, tool you could say. Well, it's the same tool, but it doesn't give the same result because of where they're measuring the power, but you know, it does help us understand, uh, you know, when we're getting the power and how we're getting the power. Now to wrap this all up, uh, I've previously owned a 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine on a Mustang, a red 2016, and I love the low end torque. I had a lot of fun driving that vehicle. Uh, I didn't have any issues with it. And I do believe that, you know, Ford, historically has always built great inline engines. If we think back to the, the 70s and 80s, uh, the inline six that they had. Uh, now I remember off-roading in a 1986 Ford Ranger. Uh, so, you know, I think the Bronco is gonna be a lot more advanced and a lot better than that. But, you know, to conclude, I do suspect that the reliability of this engine is going to be good. And as a result, because, you know, off-road, I think it's gonna be, you know, pretty darn good. And fuel economy, it's, you know, really decent. Power specs are, you know, beating out the six cylinders on the market, currently offered on the market. And reliability, well, I have to speculate because this is an engine that's been out since uh, 2015. But so far, so good. So being that it passes the thus far the reliability test, I'd say, you know, for now, I think that a Bronco with a 2.3 liter engine is a great option for your Bronco. But why is it getting some bad publicity? Well, it's, you know, some people are speaking badly about this engine, I'd say, pure and simply because it's not a V8 and people really want a V8. So, you know, to answer the question of what's wrong with the 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine, I'd say nothing. Absolutely nothing is wrong with the 2.3 liter engine. That inline four is a great option. I loved it on my 2016 Mustang. It was a blast to drive and I got crazy good fuel economy out of uh, my 2016 Mustang. But what's wrong with it? It's not a V8 and you know, that's, you know, the whole question of the V8 is going to be addressed in my V8 Bronco 
video. Uh, we'll be talking about off-road capacity, fuel economy, uh, torque curves, horsepower, uh, but you know, we'll review you know, why or why not? We're gonna get a V8 on the Bronco, but I'd say that's the only thing that's wrong with this engine is it doesn't fall into the historical love of V8s. That Ford, you know, Ford enthusiasts have have now and uh, have always had. Uh, and, you know, historically there have been some bad four cylinders and there have been some, you know, underpowered six cylinders at Ford, but that's just not the case anymore. Now, if you liked this video or you found it helpful, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll be covering also the 2.7 liter engine coming up, off-road handling, uh, various videos on the Bronco. And when I'm done with the Bronco, well, I'll be moving on to another model. Uh, so for now, I guess I'm signing out. And uh, once again, please like and subscribe.